Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Edinburgh Castle. But before we get into today's video, I want to kindly dedicate this to Alan Beat, who has celebrated his 83rd birthday in the week and he's an avid fan of ours. Your grandson Lee contacted me in the week and I thought what better place to wish you a happy birthday and a happy recovery than in front of Edinburgh Castle. So from me and all the viewers, happy 83rd birthday and enjoy the video. Good morning guys, it's only bloody Friday. Well it is when the vlog actually kicks in. We have just ended Thursday's vlog as we cross the border into Scotland. So we've ended it slightly prematurely. So those of you who have came to check out how we got on, we managed to make it up to Lockerbie truck stop. Or that's where we intend to be anyway. So what I'm gonna do now is skip forward in time to Lockerbie, Lockerbie truck stop everybody where only bloody Friday will begin okay good morning it is finally only bloody Friday uh, it doesn't quite feel like it considering we're so far from home but if all goes well today and goes to plan we should be able to make it back we stayed at Lockerbie Truck Stop last night, knowing that we was going to have a late start. We wanted to have all of the uh, facilities around us to sort ourselves out. We're going to go have a wash and everything. And we had a lovely surprise when we woke up this morning. I did see it parked there last night, to be honest, actually. But this one is WFE. Another one of the trucks that I've tramped in in the past, back when we used to work for Morgan McLernan's. So it's an unusual sight, but two of my ladies of the night <laughs> parked up on the same truck, so it's pretty cool. Uh, there's our load going down to Edinburgh. We have still got an hour and, I'm going to say around an hour and 45 minutes to go from here. So that'll give us, hopefully, around eight hours drive time. We're gonna do it, aren't we? We'll do it. I'm coming home, dear, trust me. If you look up ahead, there's a right hand turn at this traffic lights, turning into the road before the road we need to turn into. So basically we've got to go straight over the traffic lights and swing it around ourselves to turn left into the next road after that one. One thing I don't want is the cyclist. going to do with this bus here. I can see the road we're in. I'm going to do it a bit further up. Oh, 
goodness me, I'm sanding here with my hazards on. Thank you. Still overtake you. Yeah. I've got my right indicator on. I've just put my hazards on as well. Here we are. Oh, look at the castle up there. I'm actually getting emotional. <laughs> We have made it here guys. And I'm I know I'm losing all my trucking image. My manly trucking image is disappearing, but I don't care. Don't worry, I was watching you. God, I'm just glad we've got there, okay. Is that someone famous? Is that a famous? As PewDiePie would say. Oh, we can briefly stop here just to wait to go into the site. And I know it's been a long drawn out clip. And thank you for watching it with me. We have arrived safe and sound. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the notorious Edinburgh Castle. And I was expecting a pretty quick tip but it's took about 40 minutes so far and there's still two more lifts so in hindsight I wish I'd have had a run up there now if you follow me on social media you'll have seen a picture roughly from this angle that I managed to get as a bit of a teaser but look at this my, my dear doesn't really want to do a drive this far up north but I've got to show her this and change your mind <sighs> so the last but one lift is off time to ring the gods find out what we got to do next pretty sure it'll just be a trip back down but I think the other two have had to go and reload in Glasgow so I'm not sure whether they've got that planned for me or not all I know is the stress levels are down, the anxiety levels are down. And we just gotta focus on getting back now. So empty we are. One minute to twelve. So everything has been on schedule, just as planned. And uh, we exit King Stables Road and everyone must be thinking, what's he doing down here? All the tourists and guests having a lovely time, having a beer. We've met some people from Las Vegas just now, amongst others. And um, absolutely fantastic. Do you, do you want to cross? No point me blocking the uh, pavement. People pointing to my truck. So I've gone and had a look and asked them what they was on about. It's fine. It's alright. I'm not gonna fall for it twice. 
They're just trying to wind me off by saying I've got a flat tyre. Uh, come on, mate. We will get out of here eventually. Nearly two and a half minutes at the junction. <laughs> Coach driver's going to let me out. The van driver's. Oh, he's inched forward. He inched forward as I came out. Yeah, if you're going to play tricks on lorry drivers, just bear in mind that we have a serious responsibility. So if you point to us, we are, we are obliged, or if we're conscientious, we are going to check what you're pointing at. And that's exactly what happened there. Fair enough, they got me good and proper, a bit of a prank, ha ha ha. But, you know what I mean? It's not funny, really. I got out, wondering what the hell was wrong, thinking there was something wrong with the truck. Anyway, I'm not going to bring you all the whole trip out of here. We're going to start our way back down and uh, see what the rest of the day brings, guys. See what the rest of the day brings. It's going to be a late one. Guys, we are on Lancaster Services. We just managed to crawl into here on four hours, 25 minutes, thanks to that traffic. We have still got to sit in it for another uh, eight minutes worth of delays, apparently. So while we've sat here, the traffic has improved. Oh no, then it goes blue and then it goes for another seven minutes. So we have still got another bit of a delay. It does sound like it's running a little bit better out there. But um, never mind, eh? We've just made ourselves a cup of coffee. We've been joined by a beautiful Cat Finnings R580 V8 here that's just pulled up next to us. Preferably giving us enough space to reverse out. We're next to a Spears and Hearts, well, uh, S cab as well, which is very nice as well. Um, what we're going to be doing finishing off our break here which is due to end in five minutes time and then we're going to go back down to the yard so I'm just going to leave a bit of subtitles down the bottom here about what time we got home and what time we got back and if we had to mess around strapping loads up again and then I'll see you in the next one guys thank you all very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the last two days as we've gone up to Edinburgh <laughs>